Beginner database design and SQL programming using Microsoft SQL Server 2012. This is Kalmantov. This is my new book. Should be available in your local bookstore or at uh, Amazon.com. This is the ISBN number, or you can get it searching by my name. That's the fastest way of getting it. It is available on Kindle as well. Let's talk about right join. In the AdventureWorks 2012 database, the production.product has a foreign key, product subcategory ID, which points references the primary key in the product subcategory table, which has the same name. So this is a clean equijoin on um, the primary key and foreign key. It is a right join to the product table, which means include the non-matching rows as well from the product. And when we do that, when the non-matching rows will be filled with nulls for the product subcategory table because there is no equivalent um, data in that table. So let's scroll up until we see some data in both tables. So here we have the matching rows. The product subcategory ID, for example, is 12. And uh, if we scroll over, we'll find it somewhere over here as well. Product subcategory ID. It's right here. Right join is completely and totally equivalent to left join, except it's a mirror image. Right join is mainly used in countries where we are writing from right to left. And in countries where they write left to right, we use left join. So how do we know that this is a non-matching row or it just there is a null in that column? Well, if it's a not nullable column, then we can tell. If it's a primary key column, we can tell. Otherwise, if it's a nullable column, we are unable to tell that it's null because uh, it has a null data in it or uh, it's null because it's a non-matching row. So the easiest way to tell if it's a non-matching row if we include the primary key column. Now, it is important to do this because um, we can use to identify non-matching rows based on uh, the null. This is the end of the short demo.